Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday and it is packing day. One of my least favorite days. Tomorrow we leave for Texas. Our flight leaves at 8.30, which means we have to leave here by five o'clock in the morning. The reason we have such an early flight is because we're actually, so we're going to KetoCon, which is in Austin, but my family lives in San Antonio, so we're actually flying into San Antonio, spending time with them, and then driving the rest of the way down to Austin for the con. Stay a few days in Austin, drive back up to San Antonio, stay another few days, visit my family, and then come home. So we're gonna be gone quite a few days. Um, KetoCon is maybe the biggest keto event. I think it is. It's one, one of the biggest. It definitely has the most vendors. So I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to vlog while I'm down there. We are taking the children. My mom and dad are coming too. My dad's not coming to KetoCon. He's going to stay um, with our family in San Antonio and have a nice visit with his mom and dad and sisters and brothers. And uh, my mom's gonna come with me because I need help with the kids to be able to work while I'm there. Um, but I can't leave them yet. Anyways, so I'm getting ready to get started packing. Now, I attempted to pack early. That just never works out for me. I don't know why. I, I feel better if I'm packing right before we leave rather than a few days in advance. I just, I forget what I've packed and then I have to go through it. Did I pack that? And then I end up repacking. So it doesn't actually help me to pack early. Although in theory, it sounds like it should. For me, it doesn't work out. We have friends that are taking care of the animals while we're gone. So my chickens are in good hands. The sheep are in good hands. They don't really need a lot of attention. The sheep are pretty self-reliant. Um, the dogs are going to be well taken care of. Kitty cats well taken care of. Everybody's going to be fine. We are staying in an Airbnb in Austin. And it has a pool. So we're really excited to get down there and enjoy the house uh, a couple days before. And then we're staying in an Airbnb in San Antonio too that also has a pool. So Beckett is excited. Oh my God, I don't have swimming trucks for him. I just realized that. Time to let the chickens out. I leave them in there a little longer um, for right now because I want them to lay in the house. Actually, Ken might have already let them out. It looks like he did. Hmm. He had a haircut appointment this morning. So he's already gone. I'm gonna check on him anyways. Got a few eggs. All right, I'll have to come back and get those later. I'm extremely thirsty this morning. Like, more than usual. Spicy. I'm gonna grab uh, some of my Element electrolytes to pack and my carry-on and just for the week. I'm actually almost out. Hopefully my new box comes today. That would be great. I have watermelon coming. I literally have, this is it. It's the last of my packets. This is the orange flavor. I really like this one, but I'm kind of ready for a change, but I love Element Electrolytes. I use them literally every day. Beckett loves them. Ken loves them. My mom loves them. They're a big hit in our house. I like them because they're really, really, really salty. They have a thousand milligrams of sodium. They have potassium and magnesium also, of course. They're sweetened with stevia, so no sugar, no dyes or weird coloring. I put mine with sparkling water. I've already had this this morning, so I'm just gonna go for some regular water right now. I don't travel without electrolytes, especially on the plane. I always carry some packets and then I just buy water when I get there, but this trip I think I'm actually going to take 
one of my Stanley water bottles with me because I'm emotionally attached at this point to this one. And you know, I'm just a picky person when it comes to my bottles, my water bottles and cups and that sort of thing. So I think I am gonna actually take a cup with me this trip. As usual with any purchase, Element will send you a free sample packet. Looks like this. It comes with eight different flavors for you to try. They have chocolate salt, orange salt, watermelon salt, raspberry salt, so many awesome flavors. So click on the link in the description. I'll put it on the screen too. It's just drinkelement.com slash Nisha and that will get you the free sample pack. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. I actually really do have to start packing. Also, my monthly visitor came yesterday, which means uh, that I'm going to have to deal with that on this trip. And I am really annoyed about that. This consistently happens to me with every trip we go on. <sighs> so, just extra stuff to pack. Fun times. Uh, am I the only one that happens to? Does that happen to you too? I know a lot of you ladies don't have to worry about that anymore, but I can't recall a trip we've been on that I didn't have Aunt Flo with me. <laughs> I guess she likes to travel too have not eaten this morning. What time is it? It's 9 30. I'm sure I'll end up eating eggs, but I'm just not hungry yet. When I'm on my cycle, my appetite goes down. I'm just not hungry. I'm more thirsty. I need more salt. Like I just want salt. I eat salt. I eat a lot of butter, even more than normal. And yeah, but I don't bloat like I used to. I don't know. You see that? Look, I'm pooching that out. But used to, like my normal stomach area would be, even pushing it out, It would. it's not as big as it normally would be back in the day. I don't get as hormonally uh, insane as I used to, and I don't get menstrual migraines anymore. I used to get menstrual migraines every single month. They were awful. I used to cramp really, really bad. So things have improved, definitely. Cycles are super regular. I got my period back super quickly, even though I exclusively breastfeed. I did. I got my cycle back with Beckett, I think three, mo three months postpartum, and with Bonnie, it was like two months postpartum. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but they came back and they're here every dang month. This is going to be my carry-on. It's my Itsy Ritzy Boss Plus backpack. This thing is so huge. It opens all the way. Then I've got like some packing cubes in there. And this is mostly Bonnie stuff. I'll probably take this out and put it in my actual luggage because I don't really think I need a thermometer on the plane. But just in case, I do have some essentials for the baby in there. But I'll also have my laptop and my iPad and all my chargers and stuff will go in here. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. There's pockets, so many, like there's little pockets up here, pocket here, pocket here. <laughs> I love this thing. And then this is like a little pacifier holder. And this is my breast milk cooler. Kind of matches. This from Itsy Ritzy too. I got these new vitamins for Beckett. They're by Haya. They're supposed to be really good ingredients. And we're trying them out. I'll let you know. Beckett loves them. Chewable. No sugar. No weird dyes or anything. They're the best kids vitamins I've found. Of course, we try to get everything from our food, but... Good job, Buzz. You ready to go to Texas? Yeah. Yeah? Who are you most excited to see? Tio Freddy, because he gave me cars the last time we went there. Tio Freddy. Wow. Because he gave me cars the first time I went there. Yeah, he did? Who else are you excited to see?
new pasture. <laughs> I'm nearly done with my packing. Got my nice clothes here, casual clothes here, shoes, makeup, hair tools. We're almost done with my part. And I've got Beckett's packed already, and that's Bonnie's clothes. I'm doing good. That's breast milk, by the way. I have breast milk on everything. <laughs> Oh, sure. Two, three. 